Welcome to another SailZing.com tutorial video. In these videos, we explain sailing concepts simply and visually and show you how to apply them. Visit our channel for other SailZing.com videos, including race course notes, sailors roundtables, tactical IQ sessions, mods, and other categories. Today's topic is Velocity Made Good, or VMG. Most newer sailors are not familiar with this concept, so we'll take a moment to go through the definition and show some examples. Then we'll talk about how to use the concept of target boat speed to maximize your VMG. If you prefer reading about this subject, go to salesing.com for an outline version of this video. Let's start with the definition of velocity made good. It simply means the speed at which you are making progress directly upwind or directly downwind. Here's an example with some made up numbers. The blue boat sails upwind on a close hauled course at about 45 degrees to the wind. The boat travels seven units of distance in the three seconds, so we can say its boat speed was seven units in three seconds. What is this boat's velocity made good, or VMG? To answer this, all we have to do is see how far the boat progressed upwind. The scale shows that the boat traveled five units of distance upwind in the three seconds. So the boat's boat VMG in this case is five units per three seconds. VMG is an important concept because in an upwind leg what matters is not how fast you sail but how much progress you're making to windward. For more on this, see our video on ladder rungs. To show the importance of VMG, let's compare the boat in the previous slide to two other boats sailing upwind. The gray boat in the picture is the ending point of the boat in our previous slide. The blue boat eases her sheets and sails faster, but at a lower heading than the gray boat. The blue boat's speed was 8 units in 3 seconds. What was her VMG? The blue boat advanced 4 units upwind, so her VMG was 4 units in 3 seconds. The red boat decides to sail closer to the wind, so she seats in tightly and heads up. Her speed was 5 units in 3 seconds. What was her VMG? Her VMG was also 4 units per 3 seconds, just like the blue boat. Now that you understand the definition, let's talk about why VMG is important. As we said, VMG measures how fast you are making progress directly upwind or downwind. Therefore, if you're sailing windward leeward courses, the boat that has the highest average VMG wins the race. It's that simple. If this puzzles you, go back and review our video on ladder rungs. If the course is a reach, then VMG doesn't matter. It's straight line boat speed that matters. Next, realize that during a race, it's your average VMG that matters. You won't always sail at your best VMG. Sometimes you will pinch or foot or even sail on a header to get to a favorable shift or puff. But once you find that favorable shift or puff, it will gr it greatly increase your VMG. Top sailors don't spend a lot of time talking about VMG or trying to measure it. The concept is important, but measuring it is not. You have to have instruments that sense the, sense the actual wind and your progress upwind or downwind. Big keel boats have these instruments, but even for them, VMG changes so rapidly that it's not useful. Instead, we use other indicators to sail at max VMG. We'll talk about these more shortly. Keelboats use instruments to maximize VMG by sailing at what we call target boat speeds. Small boat sailors don't have instruments, but we can learn from the concept of target boat speeds. To understand target boat speed, let's review our previous examples. 
Remember that the boat that sailed closest to the wind, let's call her A, had a boat speed of 5 and a VMG of 4. Boat B sailed at 45 degrees to the wind and had a boat speed of 7 and a VMG of 5. Boat C footed off and had a boat speed of 8 and a VMG of 4. So boat B had the maximum VMG of all of these three boats. Let's assume that B chose the very best combination of speed and sailing angle. If other boats tried to sail at different angles upwind, you could picture a curve showing how far they would get. A boat that tried to point closer to the wind than A would end up somewhere in here. A boat that tried to reach off lower than C would end up somewhere in here. This assumes that all the boats are trimmed up properly and sailing the, fa the fastest they can at their chosen heading. The top of the curve, right here, shows that a boat speed of 7 maximizes your VMG in this case. So for this wind, and in these fictional boats, we would say that the target boat speed is 7. So the definition of target boat speed is the speed at which your VMG is maximized for a given wind speed, assuming proper trim. If your boat is sailing above the target speed, like C, your footing. If your boat is sailing below the target speed, like A, your pinching. In both cases, even though you're trimmed properly and sailing as fast as the boat will go for that trim, your VMG is less than a boat sailing at target speed. As we said before, many keel boats have instruments with target speeds programmed into them for each wind speed. On these boats, the helmsman and crew adjust the boat's heading and trim until they match the target. We small boat sailors don't have instruments. We learn to maximize VMG as best we can by feel and other cues. More about this shortly. When sailing upwind, many sailors have trouble getting the most out of the boat in a puff. The target speed concept can help you understand the best way to respond and maximize your VMG. First, realize that target speed and heading angle are different for each wind speed. Let's look at our examples again. In our first example, the target speed was 7. Let's assume that occurred with the true wind at 8 miles an hour and the heading of 45 degrees to the true wind. If the wind increases to 12 miles, miles an hour, say, the target speed and heading will change. Let's say that it changes to a target speed of 9 and a heading of 40 degrees. Think about this question for a moment. If you're sailing in an 8 mile per hour wind and a puff of 12 comes along that lasts for several seconds, how should you respond to maximize your VMG? Should you head up to the 40 degree angle first? Realize that your target boat speed increases when the puff hits so you must gain speed to get to the new target. If you head up at first, you won't build speed rapidly. You might even slow down if you head up too quickly. Instead, focus on getting to the new target speed quickly as possible. Ease the sail and hold your heading steady or feather up just a bit. During this speed building time, you're sailing below the new angle of 40 degrees. Once you build speed, you can head up fully to the new 40 degree angle. If you understand that example, next think about the proper low response. Let's reverse the situation. You're sailing in a 12 mile an hour breeze at your target speed of 9. Along comes a lull to a wind of 8 miles an hour. How should you react? Hopefully you can see that your new target speed in the lull is lower. To get to that new target speed quickly, hold your heading even though you are sailing too high for the 8 mile an hour wind. This will bleed off your speed quickly and also you let, let you make more progress upwind for a short time. Once your speed is down, you can bear off to the lower heading. Now let's talk about maximizing VMG downwind. 
we haven't gone through any downwind examples yet, but just like upwind, there's a target boat speed and sailing angle that maxes your VMG downwind. In light air, many boats sail very slowly if they had dead downwind. To compensate, we head up to gain speed. The extra speed more than compensates for the extra distance we sail. Using made-up numbers, if the wind were 4 miles an hour, we might sail at a heading of 135 degrees to the wind to build up to a speed of 3 miles an hour. Boats that sail lower might point closer to the mark, like in this point on the curve, but make less progress because they're going slower. Boats that sail higher will go faster over on this point of the curve, but will also make less progress. In heavier air, we can sail lower and still maintain higher speeds. In this example, if the wind is 8 miles an hour, we might be able to sail dead downwind at 5 miles an hour, maximizing our VMG. Heading up from that would increase our speed some, but cause us to sail more distance and less progress toward the mark. All this discussion is one of the reasons for the old downwind advice to sail up in the lulls and down in the puffs. Let's spend just a few moments talking about puff and lull response downwind. If you're reaching up a little in light air and a puff comes along, should you head down immediately when it hits you? Just like the upwind response, the answer is to build to your new target speed as quickly as possible and then head down. For a lull, bleed your speed while gaining distance downwind before you head up. This might only take a few seconds. To finish off, here are some important notes about target speed. First, don't worry about the math and geometry we've just gone through. Just remember that there is a best speed and associated heading angle to maximize your VMG and the sailors that keep their boats at or ne near that target speed will make the most progress upwind or down. Since we don't have instruments, we need other cues to tell us when we're at the target speed. Here are a few. Remember, the target speed concept is based on the fact that you're sailing your boat as fast as possible. That means the proper of angle of attack, sail trim, angle of heel, and hiking. If you're not doing that, then by definition you're not sailing at the target speed. Also, once you learn how to respond to puffs and lulls properly, you will feel the difference and you will want to get that feel every time. Further, you can always tell if you're gaining on other boats by comparing ladder rungs. Again, see our video on ladder rungs for how to do this. Finally, let's talk very briefly about situations when you may not want to sail strictly at target speed. These include tactical situations, waves, where you might want to foot a little bit to power through, and in cases where your boat's speed limits, such as hull speed, and performance characteristics blur the tar target speed concept somewhat. We'll talk about this last idea in another post or video. Let's summarize. We defined VMG as the speed at which you are making progress directly upwind or directly downwind. To win races, you maximize your average VMG unless you are reaching. Finally, sailing at the target boat speed maximizes your VMG. Although small boats don't measure target speeds, it's, it's an important concept to apply, especially when responding to puffs and lulls. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.